everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I apologize but I still have the Bell's palsy so I'm still paralyzed on my left side of my face which really affects my speech and makes me have a very creepy smile I could probably get a starring role in some kind of a horror film hello Hollywood N don't even need any makeup right anyways what are we here for not to pity party we are here to unbox mint mongoose if you don't know mint mongoose is a jewelry subscription and i love it let's get into it let's see what they sent i love that the lady who curates this always um curates it on a theme and she tells you all about her um thoughts and why she why she chose what she chose Ugh. It's very glued. Very sticky. Alright. So it comes like this. In this really neat envelope. you got to check and make sure nothing else is in the package. There isn't. This time. And it's always stamped with this uh, wax seal of the mint mongoose. And I like this uh, to use in journals. I know I tell you that every time. I like to use this in journals as a pocket. So I open it very carefully across the top. So that it can be used as a pocket to put um, private things or memorabilia or whatever. And it's a, it makes a very strong pocket. And it would go pretty much in any journal because it's white. It's like um, like embossed with little flowers. You can't see that. Like roses. You can't really see that on here. But this one's a little bent. But it's still usable. See? I open it real careful. Alright. Wow. Gotta make sure everything comes out. Alright, so there's that. Here's the little happy three month anniversary. I've been with him more than three months, but anyway, so that's cool. And they always send you a Worthers. Love that little touch. Alright, so there's some things that came out first. One being this neat bracelet. Let's get it out of the plastic so we can appreciate it. Oh, well, first we're supposed to read about stuff. Isn't that beautiful, that, that picture? Gorgeous. And then let's read. Clarity in the Fog. Our inspiration behind this set. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can see it. This month's set is inspired by overcoming the fog we can sometimes feel as we navigate our day-to-day -day lives. The seed that would grow into this set was planted one chilly morning a few months back. You know those mornings where a thick fog blankets your surroundings for as far as the eye can see? It was that sort of morning. That thick fog has a more symbolic meaning behind the literal moisture in the air. When you are going through your day-to-day -day without taking time to sit and process what is going on in your life at that time it can be easy to find yourself going through the motions without a clear big picture direction when you wear this jewelry set i hope it inspires you to live more intentionally to snap out of the routine and to take a look at your life with a fresh and focused pair of eyes i hope it reminds you to take time to process what is going on in your life as it is happening Doing this will empower you to make changes if you don't like the way something is going. Because, pfft, you do have that power. Or, if you are happy with the way things are going, to enjoy the ride. Remember, that time passes without you realizing it is past. Isn't, time, isn't it time that you spent living life to the fullest? Helena, the mama behind the mongoose. Sorry, it's the very hard and when I start stumbling then I can't quite you know it just makes me nervous this whole lisping and all right anyways back to the piece of jewelry let's get that open and not bellyache about our problems all right first there is this really pretty bracelet look at let me see do I have something I can hold it against have a piece of glue that's trying to hitchhike on me. I 
Isn't that neat? Let's see if we can get that put on. It it um slides to get bigger, and then you can put it on and slide it again to make it um smaller. Anyways, there. That's cute. I like that. And then there is some cute little earrings in this bag. Get that out. They're really dainty. It's a little like a fish hook um, type, you know, dangle earrings. But hang on, it doesn't want to. And it's just a little silver hoop, like that hangs down. It's not too dangly, I don't think, for my cats. I don't think that would be too bad. I like those. I think I'm going to keep those for me. They're very dainty, and that's what I like. I like things that are a little more dainty. I think I'm going to keep those for dress up. And then there's a ring. Let's open that, and I'll get it closer to you. It's a little bit adjustable. Too big for my thumb. But I will hold it up there so you can see anyways. Very textury. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's showing up. I think it's blurry. Anyways, it's very neat. Um, I'll give it to someone who can actually wear it. Probably maybe Riley. That's something that Riley would really like. I like it. It's not that I don't like it. just that there's no way to adjust it small enough for me. It's pretty much at its tightest at the moment. I'm going to have to grab a little sip of coffee. thought I lost my earrings. I found them. have to pinch my mouth shut and so I don't wear my coffee but you know we get by don't we and then we have this little package I make sure I'm not wearing it all over my face my coffee gotta be careful when packaging this that I don't lose anything all right so here we have a couple of little packages. This one has the Mint Mongoose logo in the little brad. And I always keep the brad because, you know, with my paper crafting, I can use those. I always keep them to use. He's a piece of jewelry. Oh, looks like Moonstone, actually. Let me put it against this. This is pretty necklace. Now, if I would have opted for the earrings, it would have had matching earrings, but I didn't. It's kind of, you know, triangular shape, and it's pretty. And, you know, the um, collar is supposed to kind of represent that fog. Isn't that pretty? I like it. You could have gotten pink, or kind of a peachy color, or the color I received. There's one that looks more blue. Maybe this is the more peachy one. Anyway. Here, let me show you the ones you could have gotten. You tell me which one I got. I think it might be the peachy one. I thought it was the blue-gray one, but it doesn't seem like it. I don't know. Uh, but then I got with it a ring. And it's adjustable. We'll see if it will fit me. Probably not. But that's okay. It can be passed along. No reason to worry about that. We can definitely find somebody that can wear it. If I can open the package. Come on now. Alright. Sorry about that. And it's silver. Can't make it fit. But I can show it to you. See? Isn't that neat? We'll pass that along to someone. Somebody will get some enjoyment out of that. I'm quite sure. It's even too big for my thumb, and it's pretty much made as tight as it'll go. So, I mean, I could make it overlap or something, but somebody else will get some enjoyment out of that. And that's just fine. Alright, move my little necklace. Alright, so, let's recap. Um, I did get earrings and a ring that don't go along with this, and then I got the Lazal necklace, you saw. If I can get it to turn around. No, it wants to face me. The necklace and the ring. 
So we got two rings, so a set of earrings that don't match this, but that I really like in this necklace. Okay. What do you think? I like mint mongoose. I think it's a really good way to add to your jewelry collection for not a whole uh, lot of money. I'll put the link in the description so that you can check them out. I don't remember the price off the top of my head, but it's not very expensive. Um, it's very, very affordable. Um, so check them out. I mean, you can go look. You don't have to buy. You can just go look, right? Um, and tell me what you think. I, I really think the necklace is uh, really pretty. It's something that I, I would wear. So I like that. And I like those little earrings, the little circles, because, you know, they dangle a little bit, but not so much that I think that my cats would be too um, attracted by them. I hope not anyways. Um, so anyways, tell me what you think, and please give me a big old thumbs up, because you know that would really help my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you for watching and for listening to me babble and slur. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Bye guys!